I feel good. I'm actually really surprised at how comfortable I was the first time you have to like take off the robe and you're just like, well, this is it, I'm naked. It was pretty funny, but yeah, it's been, it's been really fun. I've always loved the body issue. I think it's beautiful. I think it's empowering. I just think it's such a cool display of athletes and sport in general and the human figure. I haven't always loved my body. I mean, I've always appreciated it, but like as a teenager and, you know, going through puberty and all that stuff, you really, like as a little girl, you look at the magazines and you're like, oh, I want that like hourglass figure. And like, why doesn't my body look like that? And as I've grown up and grown into my body and just my self-confidence, I've come to realize like, this is what God gave me and this is what we got to work with. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my, my butt. <laughs> Cause that's where you get all your power and sprinting and all that sort of stuff from. And I've had to really work on getting stronger and that sort of thing through dealing with injuries in the past, especially recently. So I put a lot of focus into just building muscle mass and strength, which I always have been really fit, but I hadn't always had that aspect to my training program. So I think that my butt apparently has gotten a little bit bigger in the past couple of years, so <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> they never backed down to anything. They didn't apologize for anything. They just owned it all and did it with a smile, and they walk away as World Cup champions. You can't wish anything else as an athlete, I think. People always ask, you know, what's, what's your favorite win? And I'm like, well, that's like asking somebody to name their favorite child because they're all awesome, and you love them all the same but differently. 2012 I was pretty young and I was playing a new position and I was just so relieved afterwards that I didn't screw it up for any of the older players. <laughs> so that that's what sticks out from that one. And then 2019 was a lot of expectations, really high expectations of myself, but the team and from, you know, I put them on myself and we put them on ourselves and then, but also just from everybody outside of the team expecting us to win and questioning if we could do it. And I think there was a lot of doubt surrounding the team from the outside. And I think winning this time around was crushing that doubt for everybody else and being like, yeah, we did it again. <laughs> Playing in a World Cup is what everyone dreams to do. And from the outside, it looks like it's awesome. From everybody's perspective from the outside, they look in and they see us just win game after game. And nobody realizes how hard it really is. And like, it's not fun, the nerves, and the weight of expectation is not enjoyable, but it's worth it. So it's kind of accepting and living with like the stress and the emotion and allowing that to make you rise to the occasion. All those in favor of equal pay say aye. The women's national soccer team. Winning the World Cup was really important for us to continue to fight for what we believe we deserve. But at the end of the day, we did file the lawsuit ahead of the World Cup, which a lot of people criticized and questioned and thought it was a bad move. But at the end of the day, we won. And it was kind of like us doubling down on our decision to do that. And we're trying to build something not for ourselves in the present day. We're trying to make sure that we push this sport forward, not just in this country, but in the world. And it's not a fun fight, it's not an easy fight, but the generations before us have done it and we feel a responsibility to continue to, to push. This is all you got, so take care of it. You know, enjoy your donuts and you know, a couple beers every once in a while, but take care of your body and it'll, it'll take care of you. And love what you've been given. I think that I finally am in a place where I can do that and, and I'm really thankful that I feel confident and comfortable in my own skin. That's like my dream for everybody to feel, is to feel comfortable and confident in their own skin.